Listen to me, people. This is serious. This is like crazy serious. So I'm working with a private client and I know BS. I saw something that just came out and I'm gonna show it to you in a moment, but I wanna tell you this. For the person who's trying to up their prices, Okay, you're trying to get customers who you really like to step to the table. You're doing your best to try to distinguish yourself from the market. Here's what you can't do. You can't present your products and services the way everybody else does. I want you to take a moment, okay? Stay with me, because I'm gonna show you something that's gonna make you go like this. You're gonna go, wait, what? Now, everybody here has, you've had bacon. You've had bacon, give me an idea. How much would you pay for bacon? If a person's watching this live, please put the word live. If you're watching this on the replay, please put the word replay. How much would you pay for bacon? Just be honest. Uh, you might pay, you know, $4 a pack, $5 a pack. If you're like me, you head to Whole Foods and you're paying $7.95, ridiculously a pound for no reason, or $7.95 for the pack, $9.99 a pound. But watch this, just watch this, okay? Do you see this? Do you understand what's happened right now? So this is called clothesline bacon. Here's why I'm showing this to you. Because this bacon, these three strips cost me $22. They'll cost me $27 when I'm done. Now, the question is, Tiffany, well, why would you be willing to pay $27 for bacon? Right, Rowena, for sure. $4 at max. Why would you be willing to, hold on, let me just, let me show you this. I want you to see, it's called clothesline bacon. This is exactly $27. They managed to get me to pay $27 for an item. Actually, this is 20, this is 23, 24, but I'm gonna pay tax at 18%. I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay tip, gratuity, right? Another, I'm gonna pay $28 for one, two, three pieces of bacon. Do you understand people what I'm telling you? This is a pretty big deal. This is a big deal because so often we think that we have to have a brand new product to sell something awesome. You don't have to have a brand new product to sell something awesome. You don't have to. This is absolute proof. Yes, I'm in a super bougie place for sure, but let's just get on the same page with this. Let's you and I just be on the same place. Let's be on the same page. I really want you to stop and think about your products and services. That's nothing new. All of us have been eating bacon for like 700 years. All of us have been eating bacon for 700 years, but these people are charging $30 for three strips. It's not even the whole flipping pack. It's not even the whole pack. It's not even the whole pack. It's not. So three strips for, hold on, let me show you this again because I need your lives to get together. I need you to get together on this. I need you to understand it, okay? This is bacon, this presentation. So the second thing I wanna tell you, so number one, is that you don't have to have a new product or service in order to charge a higher price product. And more importantly, I wanna remind you that the money is always in the details. The money is always in the details. The money of everything you're trying to create is in the details. Do you understand what I'm telling you right now? For the person who spends all of their time rebuilding a course, creating a, the perfect videos, having the best landing page, having all the worksheets that go with it, having something new and innovative in the market, why the hell do you have to have something new? You don't. You actually just need to take the things you already have and repaint them. Do you understand? Look at this. This is not even a whole pack of bacon. They only gave me three strips. Do you understand what I'm telling you people? They only gave me three strips and I'm willing gonna pay $30. And let me tell you something else. It's so good, I might order another. Now, understanding that me making a decision to order another is me coming back as a customer going, they did a good job. I've had bacon before, but they have a different spin on it. And that goes to like, how do you create a different spin on your topic? There's nothing new. There's nothing new under the sun for the person who thinks that there's new content, new products. There really, really isn't. There's just you having your spin on it, your perspective, your idea. Jerika, do you see this? Look at this. Jerika, do you see this? Can you tag Matt in this, Jerika? I need to, I need you guys to tag Matt. Matt, do you understand? I paid $30 for this. But here's why I'm and here's why I'm, I'm taking the time to do this because some of you have amazing products or services. You think you need to do something drastically new and you don't. You just need to repaint what you already have and present it to your prospect in a new way. Just present it to the world in a new way. If you present it to the world in a new way, new people will listen and new people will go, say what? 
There has been many times in the last couple of years that I have thought, maybe we should do something different. And I said, no, we don't need to do anything different. I just need to double down on what we're already doing. And I need to repaint what we're doing. That's it. Look at this, people. Look at this. I don't want you to misconstrue. Do you see this? I want you to rethink what you're doing. I want you to reimagine what's possible. People are paying $30 every single day for three strips of bacon. It's not even the whole pack. Think about, just think about the gravity of that. And for two people, for two people, it's not even enough, right? Like in all honesty, like let's say I ordered this. Here's the other part of this, okay? Let's say I had ordered this as an appetizer for everybody at the table. It's actually not enough, right? Like it's very good, but it's not enough. It's not enough where you're like, oh, this is very good. Now there are people out there who feel like that they have to order, they have to deliver this big thing in order for people to come in. You don't have to have a big thing. It doesn't have to be a lot. It doesn't have to be a whole bucket of fries. It doesn't have to be a large quantity. It doesn't need to be any of that. You want it to be that because you're insecure about what you put on the plate. Let me tell you something. This has taught me one of the best lessons I'm gonna learn walking into quarter two. Are you kidding me? Listen to me. They put these three pieces of bacon. Make sure that man and the owner is not listening to me because I'm cussing his food, but it's good. But let's think about it. Think about what I'm saying. Think about the things you already have, what you've created, what you've done in the market. Just think about this. Let's just be, let's just be together. Let's be 100% on this. No filter. Let's you and I get on the same page because I can't even make this up. This thing, let me tell you, let me show you. It's called clothesline bacon. And they gave me this paper menu and they've said, listen, black pepper, maple glazed bacon on a clothesline. And I was like, give it to me for almost $30. This is what I want. I want you to think that your products and services have the exact same power. Stop creating new things, present them differently. But let me also say this, your brand sure is everything. This, this restaurant dictates, look what this restaurant has. As I'm eating, they have an actual Himalayan salt in the background. There's a Himalayan salt over there. You see that? Listen, you're insecure about what you put on the plate. These people had the confidence. They were like, we're not playing with you people. If you want bacon at our restaurant, you're gonna pay $25. And I'm like, you know what? Do that. Charge me $25. Now here's the part. I could not say to them, I could not say to them, oh, you know what? I don't think it's worth 25. Can you give it to me for 10? Can't do that. The presentation of this place, which is your brand, your website, your photos, what you do on stage, how you dress, how you speak, what type of products, events you produce, it's gonna dictate the price that you can uh, demand. We demand a very specific type of product or dollar because we know the value of our product. You alone can't have to know the, pr the value of your product, but if you're insecure about it, the other people are gonna be insecure too. Let me tell you something, when I watched this plate come out and I said to myself, you people are playing games with all of my emotions. I'm paying $29 for three pieces of bacon. Guess what? I'd order it again. Perception is everything. But you have the responsibility of creating the value. The value does not come in the location. The, the value started with him saying to me, oh, it's so good. That's what he said. He was like, it's so good. You got to get it. And I was like, okay, because he thinks it's so good, I'm going to get it. And then what's so awesome about this thing, I want to show it to you. Okay, because you see that she's doing it and she's got these scissors. Okay, so you take these scissors. Oh, this is so sweet. You're so awesome. Okay, so you take these scissors and then you cut your piece of bacon. Look at this. And then you put a close on. Check this out. This is amazing. Look at that. This is how they, listen, presentation and thinking about it. So you're supposed to go like this. You put it on this close. She's almost there. We're going to root for her. Listen, this is happening. This is happening. Okay. Yep. And then you put it on your plate. Look at that. That's brilliant, people. This is brilliant. So the presentation is everything, but then the experience. So let me say number two. So you're trying to sell high ticket. For the person who can't sell high ticket yet, call me, literally. For the person who's like, I'm tired of all these BS coaches, call me. For the person who's like, I'm over these programs, call me. If you're looking for me to be perfect in an office to teach you how to scale and build your business, it's not going to happen. But if you really want to actually learn for real, for real, and get it done once and for all, I'm definitely your person. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Lesson number two, and then I got to go. 
So lesson number two is that if you, if you increase the experience that your person is indulging in while they're consuming your products or services, you get the opportunity to increase the price. You get the opportunity to demand a certain dollar. You get to change their perception because people could, I could go anywhere and get to go get bacon, but this experience is money. And I would absolutely come here 10 times over. How do you increase the experience on the things that you're already serving to your community? All right, that's it. I'm done. Let me know if this helped you. Let me know if you need me. Come reach out to us. I don't know, stalk us. Do something useful. I love you. Bye.